Alrighty, so you have just downloaded the Muscle Up ebook from Cali Unity. It's a 50 page ebook. You've obviously got the digital version. And in this video, I'm going to break down the ebook. We're going to go through all of the concepts inside. And I'm going to show you with these bad boys exactly what to do and how to work on each progression. So if we go through the ebook, the main thing you're going to start off with is like why even train the muscle up? So we've got different reasons on here. Obviously, you're developing crazy crazy, crazy strength, because what you're doing is you're working in a pull-up and a dip, but also the transition period, which is super, super hard, and it builds up full range of motion in pulling and pushing, okay? You're building lean muscle because you're doing a fast movement through the middle, and also over time, you're gonna be developing your strength, that's obviously gonna build muscle along the way. Bulletproof shoulders, we're in this kind of range where we're at the bottom like this, right? This is so, so, so good for your shoulders because you're working on that full range of motion, right? Working the shoulder in ranges that you probably have never even done them before, okay? So yeah, so overall, you're building up crazy strength, bulletproof shoulders, and just a crazy skill to learn. Now, in terms of like body proportions, obviously, the lighter you are, the easier it is. The shorter arms you got, the easier it is. And the shorter you are overall, the easier it is. I'm not the ideal physique for this, but hey. What I'd say overall is you should be doing five pull-ups and five dips to go for your first muscle up. If you skip to the end, we've literally got a full step-by-step -step how to break through the major plateaus. And the first one is not being able to do five pull-ups and five dips. We will show you how to get to that. If you're past that, that's probably the main prerequisite to then start working on the actual muscle up. Equipment, bands, meh. I don't really like them, but you can if you want to. Obviously, a pull-up bar or rings, you're gonna need those to work on the muscle up. Chalk, your wrists will sting and they will get sweaty. You're gonna need chalk um, and maybe grip tape. It might help you with the false grip, but we'll go through that in a second. So, there are three main parts of the muscle up. There is the pulling part, which is here. Okay, so coming up from there to there. Then there is the transition through the middle and then the dip. Okay, so there's a free part of thing. Now, if you can do five pull-ups and you can do five dips, the pull-ups and dips aren't the problem. The transition is the problem. So, on the next page is probably the most important concept in the whole of this guide, which is talking about how high you pull and how low you dip, okay? So as you can see on the guide, if you pull higher coming through the middle, the transition will be easy. What you wanna do is you wanna work on making the movements that you can do as hard as possible and making the movements that you can't do as easy as possible. Let me show you. So, if I was doing a muscle up and I pulled to here, how on earth am I going to get from here through into my dip? However, if I get to this position here, it's much easier for me to come through. Let me show you how it actually looks like. Okay, so from the floor, if I did this, super hard to come through the middle. But if I pull high, now I can get through the middle so much easier, okay? So that's the first thing, pull high. The second thing is then dipping low. If I try and catch the dip like here, that means that I need to stay high through the middle of the muscle. So yeah, we're gonna break down the false grip and gonna look at each of the individual sections of the muscle. So what is the false grip? Those of you who tried it know what I mean, it sucks. Um, rule of thumb at Cali, if your wrists are bleeding, you're probably doing it right. I know. Um, a little way, if you've never done this before, to feel what this feels like is make fists, put your wrists, so karate chop the rings, make fists, wrap it round, and then from there, try and hold that position. That's what a false grip should feel like, okay? So do that again, make a fist, but don't have your thumb over, get your thumb round, and then wrap it round. Another way of doing it is grab the top of the ring like that, okay? And then pull it down, and you always want your thumb facing down. I see a lot of people doing this, when your thumb facing down when you're doing the muscle up, okay? So now I can get into position. The reason why we do the actual false grip is if I was in a normal grip, if I was to come through the middle, how do you get through the middle, right? But when I'm in a dip, 
I'm in this position. So if I start in that position, now it's a lot easier for me to roll through the middle into that position. Okay, let's look at the different positions. So lockout, when we're at the bottom, we're here. I want you to focus on being chest up. Now, this is my biggest hack for the muscle up. When you're doing this, I see a lot of people starting like this. Okay, just doing regular pull-ups like they would here. Okay, just like this. You have to have your chest up. Think of it like when it's like when you when you cock back to throw a ball, you don't just go to here, yeah? You go back to there to then bring it through. This is almost a loading phase. That's what you do when you're getting your chest up. Because what happens is when I have my chest up, I have the room to then push myself over and through the rings and pull my hips back. Okay, so it looks like this. Chest up, bam, through the middle. Okay, if you, I always used to say when I used to teach my clients, if your, if your hair moves or you put your hood on, you're doing it right. Okay, so here, chest up, pull to hip, through the middle. Now, if my chest isn't up, look what happens. Where am I gonna go? What, am I gonna, what can I do here? Like literally, what can I do, right? You can't use your arms. Let me show you in this position, right? So if I'm here, what can I do here? However, my feet are off the floor. Now I can come through the middle, okay? Big, big difference. So make sure to starting off, your shoulders are back and down, your chest is facing up, your hips are forward, your butt squeezed, and you're holding in that position. Next up, you're gonna pull to the point where your thumb almost touches your nipple, okay? Or the ring touches into your chest. That position, you don't wanna have the ring to your shoulder, you want the ring to the front of your chest. You wanna get even more. Think of like elbow, in into your back pocket. That's how much you want to be pulling, okay? Down to here. Once you reach that point, only then can you start that middle bit in the transition, okay? Cool. Now we come to the dip. Another important position. Make sure, as you can see in the front of the, of the, um, the guide here, okay? My shoulders are almost facing down, right? So you want to be in this position here. I see a lot of people try and do a muscle up like this. They come through the middle and they're here. It's not gonna happen, okay? Get your chest, so we go from facing here to facing down, okay? So let me show you what it looks like. Rather than being here, here. And what that means is rather than just using your triceps, you engage your shoulders and your chest. What's bigger? Right? So use your chest, use your shoulders, round there, find that protraction, and then push through with your whole body rather than just your triceps. Lock out, very simple, as per usual, top of the rings, shoulders down, rounded, elbows locked, core engaged, you're locking out there. I see a lot of people miss their muscle up because when they come through the middle, I'm gonna fly into the camera here, so this is gonna be funny, they do this. Yeah, they come through the middle. You need to get the catch here by locking the elbows in and rounding the shoulders, okay? So that's all that, let's break them. A note on kipping, just read it. Um, basically, as the leader of CrossFit says, Matt Fraser, learn strict first, then learn kipping. He literally says it and he's the leader of CrossFit. Um, a quick note on bar muscle ups. Um, bar muscle ups use a lot more technique. Ring muscle ups use a lot more strength. That's just my opinion. Um, could be wrong, but that, I'd recommend um, learning rings. Um, if you are to learn bar, there's a lot of good videos out there online um, about uh, specifically Fenex has a really good one. Um, the Jack Vegan has a really good one. Just basically about, it's all about the momentum of pushing forwards and getting the right shoulder positions. I like rings because you can do them stricter and then more of a display of strength, in my opinion. My favorite cues, chest up to start, grip. <laughs> Grip the balls, okay? So imagine you're gripping balls here and you're round in that position. Keep the elbows tight. Here's another one as well. Um, so imagine when you're doing a muscle up, you make sure there's train tracks running here and your elbows don't come out. I see this a lot. I see people trying to do this, 
in a muscle up, you need to keep your elbows tight through the middle, okay? So this is off the floor. Notice how my elbows were stuck in tight through the middle. Imagine there's train tracks and you can't hit the train tracks. You're pulling, you're pulling in through the waist, through the middle and keeping your elbows tucked in tight. Put the hood on, that's what I mentioned here, around the shoulders um, and then looking at the rings. Okay, so muscle up progressions. Again, get your, get your high pull-ups. So I'm not just talking pull-ups, I'm talking pull all the way to your waist, okay? A really good progression is on the bar, rather than just put doing pull-ups, say, to here, try and see if you can do a pull-up about getting your hip over to the bar like this. Okay, because now we're actually getting back. What's that doing? If you've been watching the video, it means that we have space to come through the middle and actually get that, get the positional power to shoot through that middle position. Okay, low dips. I'm not just talking normal dips. I'm talking all the way down as physically low as you can. False grip holds, that is that fist over holding that position. Low dip holds, really, really, really good. Um, and then jumping muscles we'll come to those later but these are basically the progressions that we can work through when we get to plateaus there's a whole warm-up sequence just do the warm-up sequence it's a really good one okay it's all on there it's all filmed it's all ready to go so go through that um, and then training for the muscle up so um, the main things that you need to do is you need to find your progressions so you need to know where you're at at the minute so plateau number one you can't do five pull-ups and five dips work on stage zero which is getting the prerequisites okay cool once you can do five pull-ups and once you can do five dips go through plateau number one which is starting the false grip that's basically training false grip pull-ups super low dips um, and just kind of progressing that now once you can do five false grip pull-ups and five false grip low dips then we can then start on the, the jumping ring muscle up so you're gonna have one foot on the floor okay just like this you're gonna basically pistol squat through the middle and we're gonna come down and we're gonna get through that middle bit so I'm here false grip I got my chest up I got one leg on the floor I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna shoot through that middle bit and try and come up all the way okay then you either bring the rings higher or you jump less and less to try and get that progression so one more time here one leg one leg out like a pistol squat I come down and then I jump through that middle bit and if you can't come back up here you need to work on your dips okay and then try and push up through the middle bit that's that's the plateau number two number three is once you can catch them okay then we can work on box ring muscle ups let me show you that in a second so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go a box you're gonna put the box in front of the rings like this you're gonna put your feet on the box like so okay and then we're gonna come through the middle and drive back up now the reason why I love this one so much is because it teaches you the hip position of coming through the middle right I'm coming up my chest is up my hips are up my legs are bent and as I get to transition I straighten my legs and I push my hips back and that's what allows me to get up and through once you can do that I'm pretty sure it's just about going for it yeah so now you just work on your Give your muscle-ups some attempts, go for the boxing muscle-ups, and then keep progressing and you'll get it. And if you do get it, tag us at Cali Unity. If this guy was a help, please do, please do give us a, a little tag. Um, the transition is too hard. It's hard for a reason, right? Like if it was if it was easy, then everyone would have muscle up and you wouldn't want to get it. Right? The reason why you want it is because it's hard. So keep going at it. But the main thing is get better at pull-ups and get better at dips. Just just pull higher, dip lower, and keep going for that. What's after the muscle up? Whew, I'm pretty tired, Ryan. I don't know about this. Um, I'll show you I'll show you two movements that we can do after the muscle up. Okay? So the first one is called a forward roll, and the second one is called a kip to muscle up. Okay? Okay, so I'll leave you on this. So forward roll is when you... Okay, so you're basically just doing muscle-ups into muscle-ups. 
My wrists are absolutely ruined now, Ryan. Okay, and then the last one is a kipping muscle up. Not, um, not a crossfit kipping muscle up. It's a gymnastics kip. Okay, so we go upside down, skin the cat, and then we use our legs to go upside down. This is the last one because my wrists are going to explode. And those are the progressions that you can basically work on. But the muscle-up's a really nice movement because you can actually put it into different routines. Um, once you've got it, you can progress into going upside down on the rings, you can go into handstand, you can go into bent arm planche. There's so many progressions. Get this movement and it will unlock a whole world of calisthenics for you. All right, guys? So if you want any other guides, click on the top, click on um, free resources, and there's all the other guides here as well. If you want to access our free community, go to the top right, it's, you go to school it's completely free it's all on there all the ebooks all the videos all of the coaches all the community and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to our youtube um, and i'll see you there